It's really halfway. Like this action when I do this, stop. Okay, pause. pause. Okay, now, look here. Now, we are having to set up a fish. When this is a to a fish farm, uh, that's going to be set up on the side there. Now, here we have about 18 meters by about six meters, leading to uh, oh, really nicely constructed gutter right in front here. I think it's the entrepreneur who constructed it. But really, our business has to do with uh, the other side. But it's important to know what's going on here because we want to know whether trucks can come in here and drop their sand when it's construction time. But I think they're going to permit us to drop to drop sand over there. But what will it be? I think over there, we might make a mini. Yes, yes, yes. And gravel, mm. uh, but we can drop wood and all the rest mm. on this side during construction. But I think why clearing is going on, the first thing is to clear all of this to one side and then burn it first of all so that when sand is being scraped mm -hmm. it cannot uh, be, be done on this side if I, if I have my way i will say a concrete barrier is built between here and the and the uh and the tree there you can leave the tree for biological uh, for nature purposes and erosion control while on the other side of it that's about close to nine meters now eight point four five another barrier is made there mm -hmm. in the concrete so that you have this place effectively as a car park yeah, so it's yeah. filled up. So from there we're now moving to the uh, to the farm, to the farm proper. Where we have about uh, eight point. Uh, uh, excuse me, let me see my paper here. Uh, where we have the back eight point uh, four eight point four six meters here mm -hmm. by fifth uh, by uh, eight point nine four. Now as it is now, we're really operating on a on a. On a tight land, let me use that word, but then it's going to still give us an absolutely profitable value. Now, as it is, we can do a pitch roof definitely. It's going to be the Mr. Fee signature roof that we're going to have from the wall there, right down to this, to where we have the the picking, the second, the second picking here. Right. And then, by the time it's, up, it's approaching the second fence, I think what we're going to do is that by the fence we're going to have a, a gutter right on top of the fence aluminum gutter that will just bring water straight down to the to the canal there i think that's the best option to maximize the land because you can't give a gap between the uh, rain casher you can't do it on another person's land and you can't give a gap so that uh, between it and the fence so that it won't break the fence but we'll see what we'll do over there in a very nice way so that the whole water coming in from the roof will just flow in right into the gutter then that said now we want a self-sustaining environment here for fish because the space is small he wants to do a water recycling right so because right now it's going to have what we call a security house problem is on this side. No, I think it's on that side. It's going on that side. Say hello, here they come. Who <clears throat> enter? The guy pops out of the window, pops his head out of the window to know it's okay or not. Then he comes out to open the gate right about here. <laughs> right? And if it's okay, they open the bigger gate for the vehicle to come in. <laughs> and then the vehicle can inch out close to that tree. Either he backs the tree go out and then stop and move on. Or sensible enough not to hit the tree and mm. move, move yeah. out, you know. Mm. I think that's okay. This can take a pickup truck. And, I mean, that's okay. So it comes in here, so this becomes like a car park right on the zoo. Mm. Now, from the from this side, this side, we're going to have about 0 0.5 meter space so that the guy can pass around, the manager can pass around, the person at this many feet to feed from here. And this is where we're going to have the inflow water too. And this is where we're going to have the feeding spot. Right. Mm -hmm. And then on this other side, one about four meter pole, we're going to have the the outlet into the gutter that will lead all the water to the recycling chamber. And then outside, on the other side of that straight gutter, we're going to have the gate valve for emptying the water and a small gutter in front that will not empty the water into the canal. Now we've got space about two meters left. Okay, like no, one, two. About that. So with that, I think we can do something. Now create a uh, 
structure on that. Now with all the roof that's going to go all length, fine. Mm. So we can have cubicles like office cubicles, right? To take care of the mm. feed room. Uh, where they're going to dry the feeds. Uh, where we're going to dry the feeds. I think I think that should be at the back, close to the generator house. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 I'm going to take chances because generator has four. Oh, okay. And the the feed stuff has yes. generates it. Mm. Uh, okay. What we'll do? I think that will be close to the security man here. I think that's tempting because the smell of the stuff is enough to make him hungry. I hope he won't be the kind that goes on fasting regularly. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna succeed with his fasting. No doubt about it. So I think that one will be on this side, mm. in the front end, away from the generator. Mm. What at the back, we are gonna have the biofiltration system, the overhead tank, the generator house, and then on the sideline here we start to fixing all the ancillary structure. Mm. You know, and you know all the ancillary structures now. Where to store the feeds to? Where to make the feeds? The pelleting machine and co. It's going to look like a straight thing, and mm. then a small straight line. I think what we'll do on top of the gutter, we're going to create uh, planks on top so that we have enough space, like about 0 0.8, mm. for people to walk around and still have about 1. Point something to have the material. All this, this length is big. I think we've got a nice structure. So let's walk out and see mm. what, uh, what we have at the head, on the other side there. This is big enough. That's, this is the. 49.45 section now. Mm. I hope you know what this one is. This, this is Kaku. Okay. To prevent the the birds from coming to hit the uh, basic plant over there. Okay. I don't know what's what's buried inside this stuff. And it's definitely not cassava. <laughs> fortunately, like most of them see Mr. Fish, we're like sworn enemies. This has to go. Mm. <laughs> For the more profitable like venture. I don't know. I'm mm. not saying that it's not profitable. Mm. But for, in terms of space per square meter, yes. I think they they are wiser, more economical by putting fish in there. Because for fish, at hundred fish per square meter, selling at eight hundred naira, that's eighty thousand naira per square meter. Now how much of the money should we get per square meter? <laughs> Nigeria has vast land, so you can go and do it in vast land over there. Just just bring the camera. You see the vast land over there. You know, space for maize. <laughs> Enough space for cassava. Yeah. Enough space for mm. uh, for yam. Yes. Are you getting me? Mm. I'm not saying that was wrong. So over here, let's see. We are also sticking. Stuff. The tank will be on that side. The generator house will be here. Now, I was supposed to have a dog house here. In this place, I was told that uh, guys I don't like dogs. <laughs> I don't know why. But I was telling me, the, the client was telling me how they have to do with some some biological or medical reasons. I don't know. I thought it was a legend. But he said, no, it has to be medical oriented stuff. He said something like, I have a piece or something. But <laughs> dogs out. Mm. We'll try a pussycat and see whether that can work or a human security guard. Mm. I think that's what left to me. I will have loved like my right while I do my farm. <laughs> I think there's enough uh, for you to learn what okay. it takes to actually secure a space for a heavy biofiltration system. Mm. Now, I'm going to put in about eight ponds in here to get a mm. biofiltration system mm. and uh, keep it posted as the project goes on. Right. You know me already. Yeah. My cap with some fishes on it. Mr. Fish. <laughs> <laughs>